Let's start with some fresh strawberries. Okay. I'm also going to pick this pomegranate seeds, 95p. I like this pack if you are trying to save money and you want a lot of fruits, you want a lot of fresh fruits. So these are mixed berries. You've got um, raspberry here, strawberries and um, new berries. Oh, same with this pack and it's just for £2.79p. That's cool. This says wonky blueberries. I actually thought it would be blueberries with a regular size and you know sold for cheaper. But alas, wonky is just a brand name. Uh, so these are like normal blueberries and they sell for 89p. Whenever you're buying fresh fruits, just be on the lookout because it looks like this is getting spoiled already and the expiry date is 27th of may but it's already this one is going bad already and these british blackberries cost one pound 69p like i always say when you're shopping watch out for these red labels or any labels that look different because um, the labels may signify that there is a sale going on for example this specially selected red label um, at this was one pound 79 but it's now one pound 49 so if you're trying to save some money watch out for these labels and i'll be showing you some more as we go baby come for one pound money look at this <laughs> Whoa, look at how tiny. I'm gonna get this little gem lettuce, which is 69p and it has two in it. This is why I like going to different stores because I can get to see different items. Like in other stores, I don't see spring greens. This is actually the first time that I'll be seeing this. It's wide leaf greens i don't even know um, what this is used for really but i know it would probably go in salads you know and people like taking a lot of veg anyways it costs 65 p I obviously wasn't looking down um, you have another lettuce here which is what I was looking for but thankfully I'm also checking the expiry date today is 24th of May and there's still a lot in the box so I obviously won't be buying this because I don't intend on using it today but just also check for best before days especially for fresh fruits that's really important so I'm going to buy my little jump lettuce because that still gives me some days uh, before I can prep it so watch out for for that when you're shopping um, I'm gonna go for this Larry this is 47p and the expiry date is 30th of May so I still have some time before use some days before use I found another lettuce this is Romaine lettuce and expiry date is 28th of May. So I'm gonna pick these and return the um, little gem lettuce. So we've got baby spinach and young spinach. The baby spinach is 80p, while the young spinach is £1.59. Um, I actually came to get the baby spinach, now what I'm gonna get. But, but it makes sense that the young spinach is more expensive than the 
baby spinach. Expiry date is 27th of May. Mm. I found another wonky product. This is wonky mushrooms. Yay! Red or white cabbage? How about boats? Mm. Courgettes, uh, as they are called here. I hope I'm not butchering that. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyways, those seems like they all have like the same expiry date, 27th and 29th of May. I'll be getting two pack of these babies. Oops, I found 30th of May expiry dates. Good. You know what I've just noticed? The one with the early expiry date is placed on top, while the one with the later expiry date is placed on the bottom. So all this 28th of May, but if you remove this and go further down, you would find 30th of May. Oh, I just noticed that, okay. That's interesting and something that I will keep in mind. So that's like a shopping arc right there. I think red onions are generally more expensive than brown onions. Can anybody tell me why that is? Okay. I am now working my way backwards <laughs> in the fruit and veg section to pick the things I missed. Like this red bell peppers. Oh, they look so fresh. Is it just me or when you go shopping you pick different tomatoes maybe it's just me <gasps> mini plum vine difference is between this piccolo tomatoes and cherry tomatoes let's just see I ended up switching up my tomatoes but I still ended up with five different tomato varieties <laughs> mixed peppers so I'm gonna buy the one with more greens than red and also the one with more red than greens 
Ooh, I can see more red here and orange. So yeah. Yeah. The gist of this is I've spent one hour 20 minutes in the fruit and veg section and this is what my shopping cart is currently looking like this is insane this is not normal somebody help me eat I'm finally now moving away from the fruit and veg section thank god you know I always buy bananas in all of my shopping but these days I'm scared of buying bananas because I realize once I buy them in like one two days they are now overripe and I don't know why that is maybe I'm not storing them well I don't know but I currently have overripe bananas in my fridge out of my fridge I don't know if you have any banana storage tips please leave it in the comments for me this ginger is too expensive it's just one it's a small one 69p I usually only find uh, round crumpets, but this shape. Village Bakery, that name sounds interesting, so I want to try something from them. So medium bread. Smells so good. Hmm. It is actually eight pounds ninety nine p. This plastic kitchen brush only cost one pound ninety nine p. And they have these spoons that costs um, one ninety nine p as well. I'm just gonna pick this one because it's very it's gonna be very useful for my kitchen cleaning especially just come from the special buy section and I'm now in the once they are gone they are gone section so Aldi also has this once they are gone, they are gone, and it's all lined on. Oh, that's a lot of shelves. So I'm just going to explore this and see what I can pick here. 
this other section is just chocolates and biscuits, fruit juice. Just on the opposite end is the once they're gone, they're gone for special buys option. So in this section, there's so many things as you can imagine. So many things that don't even work together somewhat. Uh, there's biscuits, uh, there's sauce, dips, drinks. Doritos, so many things here. I wasn't gonna pick anything from this chocolate section, but see what I found luxury gourmet candies. And you guys know how much I like to try new things. This is palm oil free, and this is fizzy pineapple. And there is strawberry, pineapple, strawberry, and there's also this tangy watermelon. I think I'll just go for um, let's try pineapple. Could not look away when I saw this casserole dish. I did not open it. This was open like this, so I'm just gonna check it out. Oh, this is a look at the weight of this. Oh, so heavy, and it's just $29.99. Whoa. Try to close it now that I've taken it. <laughs> okay. Something else that I really love is this loose base square. So I can't see the price right now. Um, I can also see this 16 piece, 16 piece cutlery set. really nice and you've got this oven dish you've got the square oven dish and there's another one this rectangular oven dish as well I'm trying to check for the price so you know what I'm gonna do I really like this square oven dish Cracton Owls, and by the way, the brand Cracton Owls seem to have really nice uh, cookware. So I'm gonna pick this one and I'm going to ask at checkout. There is even a bat pillow. Oh, this is so cool, and it's gonna be so useful. Nice. Is this true? Because my Uber driver asked I was coming to Aldi um, and he was trying to suggest that another Max supermarket was cheaper. But apparently, they want cheaper supermarket for 2021. Hmm. So, in this section, there's a lot of um, garden stuff, home deco, cookware. So I'm seeing troll pillows, I'm seeing beautiful baskets. This is really cool. Um, this is beauty mirror. Oh, dishwasher cleaner. Yeah, this is to service your dishwasher. Deep clean dishwasher cleaner. This is one treatment and it costs, um, I can't see the cost here. I have just found this up cleaner, it costs one pound fifty, and I'm going to try it because I want my up to be sparkling. So I'm just going to try this and report back to you guys hopefully. Mm -hmm. This is interesting for sure. It's 
so I have just found a disinfectant that kills bacteria, bacteria and viruses, including coronavirus. Hmm. And it costs ninety nine p. Hmm. It costs ninety nine p. There are more baking tins in different colors, and shapes. I really like the shape. And you've got this home storage box. It's transparent and it's really beautiful. Still from Cactus House. This is really cool. Mm, Spambo eyeball. Nice. <laughs> this would be really nice for a food bowl. On another episode of Weird Things, what would I need an automatic pot stirrer for? This is really interesting. Does anyone have this? Has anyone ever used this? How functional is this? some ready meals here we've got jar chicken bowl it's very very chicken bowl um, curd um gretzin and it's made with 100 percent british pork okay we've got pizza let's do this one british arm but a little mushroom and mascarpone no Okay, I don't like any of these pizzas. We've got uh, spicy meat fist, and there is barbecue chicken. One pound ninety nine, by the way, and we've got um on pineapple. Hmm. Let's try that. time the basket is overflowing with goodness yummy delicious healthy meals more cooked meals salads and yeah, Um, pepperoni, tapas, chorizos, and so on and so forth. Since I want different types of cheese, I'm just going to look at this cheese selection. It has four different types of cheese and it's two pounds for its nine. What's your favorite type of cheese, by the way? Leave it in the comments. Let me know. If you're aware like me, you will walk the entire store when you're done shopping just to be sure you didn't miss anything and that's what I'm doing right now. Yes, 
See? Told you. I've tried couscous in the past and I didn't like it but I'm gonna try it again this is spice infusion couscous perfect serving lamb and there is sun-dried and some dried tomato and garlic couscous there is lemon and coriander couscous roasted vegetable couscous uh, which other one do we have uh and that's it so many types of couscous but this is the ready-made one i believe let me see okay this is the ready-made one and it has the instructions so i'm just gonna pick one <laughs> but i don't know which one to pick i'm trying to think which one should i pick which one should i pick i don't want to try anything outrageous because it you know it's not like <laughs> I'm a couscous fan, but let me try maybe tomato is always a safe option. So I'll try sun dried tomato and garlic couscous. This is just my last minute buys. tell you that i bought the entire store you better believe me because i got here past 4 4 47 ish and now i'm leaving past eight four hours of shopping oh my goodness